Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to day two of Vlogmas 2020. I am glad you are here spending this hour with me while I share with you what I got done this past weekend. Basically, it was just some chores around the house, a lot of cooking and recipe testing for my new cookbook. So come along with me and we will see what we can get done. I also have a huge Walmart grocery haul to share with you, so make sure you stick around for that. So we're actually starting out on Friday morning. This is the day after Thanksgiving, and I'm just making some breakfast. I had these turkey sausage patties in the fridge, and so I'm cooking those up. And then I had this cinnamon roll uh, pancake and waffle mix from Walmart that I bought during my Walmart holiday haul. I'll link that video down below. Uh, but this was pretty good. I was surprised that... Um, the kids liked it as much as they did. Normally they're purists when it comes to waffles and pancakes, but I did go ahead and make this into waffles and that was actually on accident. I meant to make it into pancakes and I followed the wrong recipe. So I'm just giving my turkey sausage a flip. I've been getting lots of questions about this pan from you guys. Um, it's the Always Plan by Our Place, and I do really like it, although I think for what it is, it's pretty pricey. Um, that would be my only feedback on it. So I'll leave a link for it down below. You guys can check it out and decide if you want to get one for yourself or maybe ask for one for Christmas. But, you know, I have other nonstick pans that are pretty much the same value for the price. So just know that if you're going to check it out. It's not, it's not, it's not a cheap pan. Um, but I'm going to put my batter in the waffle maker and I have this Elec Holmes waffle maker. I really, really like it. It is a newer waffle maker that I just got this past year. Um, the previous one that I had, we had from like 15 years ago from our wedding and you couldn't take the plates out. And so it was super hard to wash, but this one is very convenient because the plates just pop right out. There's a button that you push. So I'll link that down below as well. If you're looking for a waffle maker, but I really do love this one. Good. What is it? <laughs> I forgot what day it is. Uh, it's Friday. It's Black Friday. And I did not get a chance to get the turkey rice soup it made today, so I hope to do that yet tonight. But I'm heating up some leftovers for dinner, so I thought I would share that with you guys. I am heating up some of the chicken noodles that we had yesterday, and I'm making some mashed potato pancakes with leftover mashed potatoes. Okay, so I have in this bowl about two cups of mashed potatoes and I heated them up in the microwave just a little bit to get them kind of loose. And then I put one egg in there, beaten up about a quarter cup of flour, some garlic powder, salt and pepper, and then I'm just gonna form them into patties and toast them up in the skillet. So I did have to put a little extra flour in there because they weren't quite, uh, they didn't quite hold together enough. But I did also use a ice cream scoop to kind of scoop them out in there. Um, but then these are already cooked, obviously. So all you really have to do is, I have too many utensils. <laughs> all you really have to do is just cook them on each side until they're golden brown. They're really, really good if you've never had these. Delicious. So later on that night, I decided to make a breakfast casserole for breakfast the next morning. So I had these mini croissants that I picked up from Walmart and wanted to use them up. So um, I'll try to find the exact recipe that I used and link it down below. Basically, you just tear up the croissants and put them in the bottom of an 8x8 baking dish. And then you can put whatever you want in there. I ended up using ham and spinach and cheese and then pouring the egg mixture over the top. But you could use any type of breakfast meat. Um, I really actually enjoyed this Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, if you guys saw yesterday's Vlogmas video, you kind of came with us on our Thanksgiving 
dinner, but it was so nice to have four days off and just stay home. I didn't have to worry about having company over or, you know, cleaning my house from top to bottom. And it was just kind of chill. We worked around the house. I cooked a lot and basically my perfect weekend staying at home (laughs) and cooking. So I am uh, dicing up some of the ham here. This is just regular lunch meat ham. I like to keep this in my refrigerator for things like this and then also to have sandwiches or pickle wraps. I am sprinkling over some of this Tillamook sharp cheddar cheese. Uh, It's really good. I've been getting that from Imperfect Foods and then I had some fresh spinach in the refrigerator I wanted to get used up as well so I'm just giving that a rough chop and I'll put that on top of the cheese layer. This will obviously cook down in the oven and this casserole is really convenient because you can assemble it the night before four and then all you have to do in the morning is take it out of the oven and bake it. So I also chopped up some green onions and put those into the dish and then I'm going to crack some eggs into my bowl here and whisk those together with some salt and pepper. I also think I put some Dijon mustard in there. I like the flavor that that gives it and then typically I do put a little bit of hot sauce in there too and just whisk that up really well and then you can go ahead and pour it over the uh, breakfast casserole mixture and then just cover it up and uh leave it in the fridge overnight and the croissants really soak up some of that um, egg mixture. This is similar to, I feel like I made a Pioneer Woman recipe at some point that was like a sweet French baked toast, like a croissant bake that was really good. And now that I'm talking about it, I feel like I want to make it again. Watch me struggle to put this lid on. Like what? Hello? This way? No, this way? Yep. Okay. This way. (laughs) Like what? So anyway, I'm going to pop this in the fridge and then the next morning, here it is, it's about 8 o'clock. I have the oven set to 375 and I'm going to pop that in and bake it. So I almost forgot to include this, but I had to share it with you guys because I thought it was funny. So we have this life board game and it is like the Milton Bradley version from 1960. I believe it used to be Adam's parents and then it got passed down to us. But we played this game of life on (laughs) on Saturday night and it's so hilarious like how antiquated this game is like. I don't know if you guys remember playing it. Like I remember playing it when I was a kid, but I think it must have been a newer version or something. But like in this version, you like basically have to get married and you end up, well, I don't think you have to have kids. Like I didn't end up with any kids in the game, but Kira ended up with like four kids and (laughs) she was like, I don't want all these kids. And I'm like, listen, this is 1960. This is before women had like equal access to birth control. So, you know, you're just going to have to have all these kids and deal with it. But anyway, I just thought it was funny because some of these board games that are like from, you know, well, what, like it was 60 years ago now. Um, anyway, I just think it was entertaining, but we did have fun uh, playing that. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So while the casserole was in the oven, I took this time to hand wash some dishes. I told you guys in yesterday's video that I basically ran the dishwasher, I think three or four times the day after Thanksgiving, Uh, but I still had some things to hand wash. It never fails. As as long as I'm home and cooking, I'm constantly loading the dishwasher, but (laughs) that's fine. Uh, One thing I did want to mention too, which I've mentioned this before, but um, always hand wash your chef's knives. Uh, That is one mistake that I made for a very long time, I would say up until about a few years ago, was I used to always just throw my knives into the dishwasher on the top rack and nothing will dull them faster than washing them in the dishwasher. So definitely don't do that. And if you're wondering where my shirt is from, it is a Sesame Street book club um, hoodie and it's from out of print. I will link it down below. 
Okay, so here was the casserole. I'm just serving up some for Adam on a plate. I actually didn't eat any of this. I Well, I should say I only had a bite of it. I'm really not a huge breakfast eater on the weekends, but Adam had no complaints and he actually went back for seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and say that he liked it and I would probably make it again. Uh, now it is laundry time. I had some clothes in the dryer to uh, get out and then load with some clean clothes. I always try to catch up or not catch up, but like keep up with my laundry during the week. But I do end up doing the bulk of it on the weekends just because that's when I'm home all day and have more time. And before um, I went downstairs for breakfast, I actually washed uh, Adam and I's sheets. And so I wanted to get those in the dryer. It does take several loads to wash our sheets. <laughs> I just got her laughing. It does take several loads to wash our sheets because we have like the sheets and the mattress pad, and then we have two comforters on our bed. So it does take all day to do that. All right, so now I'm sitting down to get some laundry folded. I actually find this kind of relaxing. Uh, I love to fold laundry on the weekends in the morning. I just get my coffee and put something on my phone on YouTube or watch a show and get all of the laundry folded. I had a ton of kitchen towels that I had washed, and so I really wanted to take a second and kind of reorganize my towel drawer in the kitchen. It was getting kind of unruly, and once I took everything out of there, I realized that there were a ton of crumbs in the bottom. It's like how do all these food crumbs get in the bottom of a towel drawer? I don't know, but uh, they were in there. So I sprayed that out with my Mrs. Meyers Iowa pine scent, which BT dubs does not smell like Iowa or at least any part of Iowa that I have lived in. We don't have a lot of pine trees here. So I don't really know who at Mrs. Meyers was responsible for that scent, but I'm going to go ahead and say someone that's not from <laughs> Iowa. Uh, at any rate, it does smell good and I always like it for the holiday season. So I went ahead and put all of my towels back in there and then uh, put my hot pads in the right side. So hopefully that will stay organized for a little while. <music> Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a smoothie. I have some frozen berries in there, some spinach. I'm using some of my homemade almond milk that I made in a meal prep. And then I've really been liking to use these superfood powders from Your Super. Um, I did a video with them a couple weeks back, so you guys would have probably already seen that. Um, but I will be doing um, a few more videos with them going forward, so you guys will get to see more applications of that. But I really find that those powders do give me an energy boost. It's been super helpful in helping me get my fruit and my greens in. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that and sip on that while I do some recipe testing for my cookbook. So I am starting out with a sour cream sugar cookie recipe and I have some butter and sugar in a mixer. Um, this is a recipe that was adapted from one of my old uh, vintage, what do you call it? Like those vintage, uh, Chris, not Christmas, church cookbooks, you know, the ones that you get that are like spiral bound and um, they're like typed out on a typewriter. Um, this is one that I sort of modified to basically roll out instead of well, not roll out, roll into balls instead of roll out on a pan because I wanted it to be a little bit more convenient. I do enjoy making uh, cut out sugar cookies, but sometimes it's nice to be able to just put the dough together and roll them into balls. So you guys will be seeing that recipe in my cookbook that comes out next spring. So here I'm just getting the dough put together and I'll put that in the fridge to chill. All right, so it is now, dinner. it's almost dinner time. What time is it? It's 5.30 and let me catch you up on what I've been doing today. So essentially all I wanted to work on today was my laundry and then testing a bunch of recipes that still need to be tested for my cookbook because the final manuscript is due uh, in the coming week, like at the end of the week. So there's a couple things that I just wanted to make again just to double check and make sure that everything turned out okay so that's what i worked on this afternoon i made a bunch of different recipes i'll show that to you uh i also got an every plate box and i'm gonna use some of that food to make for dinner tonight so i'll share that with you and then i still need to make the um 
turkey rice soup with the leftovers from Thanksgiving. Um, I finished up the turkey stock and I have that out in the garage refrigerator chilling so that I can scrape the fat off the top of it um, and use that for the soup. I could just include the whole thing, but I don't, I don't know. I don't want like my soup to be greasy or anything. So let me show you everything that I worked on today. My feet kind of hurt. Uh, and then also kind of in the middle of me or not in the middle, but like in between me making different recipes, I was going downstairs and helping Adam with the basement. We're still working on that. He, I can show it to you in a little bit. Um, he ordered a kit to box off the column that we have down there because there's like a metal support column like right in the middle <laughs> of the basement. And so he ordered this uh, kit, this custom kit that you can use to basically box off the column and make it look nice. So I still need to take a shower. And uh, yeah, we've pretty much just been lounging around home today. Nothing, nothing too exciting. Okay, so I've been really liking this cookbook stand that I got from Amazon. I got it on a lightning deal, so it was like 10 bucks. I totally think it's worth it. What? Jesus. Um, but yeah, it does a really good job of either holding like paper recipes or cookbooks. So I've been using that. This was a whole disaster earlier. I cleaned it up, but then I'm just, I just put all of the, um, so far the cookbook manuscript in this, um, uh, binder so that I can go through and make notes on it. But these are the two recipes that I got from every plate. Um, I don't work with them. They're, I mean, they don't sponsor my videos or anything, um, but I do use them every once in a while. So I'll put a coupon code down below if you're interested. But this is what I'm going to make tonight. Probably Adam and I will be the only ones that eat it. Um, I'm not going to make the rice portion like this. I'm just going to make the cheesy poblanos. And then I think I'm going to save this for a meal prep for Adam. So I'm going to make the cheesy poblanos. I have some rice in the oven. I'm using the baked brown rice method. And then this is a marinade recipe that I wanted to test one more time. It's going to be in my cookbook. So I figured we would have um, chicken and steak for dinner. Marinated chicken and steak. So looks and smells delicious and then i think i'll probably uh, make a salad as well okay so this is the sour cream sugar cookie recipe and these turned out so good uh, as you can see they're not cut out sugar cookies but they are soft and delicious and there's a little bit of cinnamon in there so kind of reminds me a little bit of a snickerdoodle but so that recipe will be in the cookbook and then this one i'm still trying to decide so these are peanut butter oatmeal cookies or well they're what that's okay uh these are called peanut butter oatmeal crispies and i don't know i might have to tweak the recipe again i feel like they're not peanut buttery enough they're not super sweet adam says they're good but i don't know i just feel like they're not really that great so i might either try to tweak the recipe or switch it up to something else and then in here I made, let me see. Oh, I made, this is my favorite um, vinaigrette to use for salad. So I made a batch of that. And then I also made, cool bro, I like a cut G. <laughs> and then I made a batch of peanut sauce, some uh, cilantro lime dressing and then I also made some creamy garlic dressing and was that it it feels like I made more <laughs> okay so I rubbed the poblanos with salt and pepper and olive oil and then put these in the oven and then I seared the steaks and those are just resting in there so I wanted to make some pico de gallo to go on top of the roasted poblanos. So I'm just chopping up some cilantro. This is some cilantro that I had salvaged from my refrigerator. I had a bunch in there that was kind of going south, but <laughs> I uh, harvested as much as I could from it. And then I'm also going to cut up one uh, shallot that came in the every plate box and then uh, also just some lime juice and some tomatoes. So very uh, traditional uh, pico de gallo ingredients, but those, well, I keep wanting to call them chili rellenos, but they weren't 
really chili rellenos because they're not um, fried or anything, but they do really have that like roasted poblano and cheese taste. And I was thinking too that these are pretty low carb. If you're doing low carb, that would definitely be an option. I also uh, cut up a jalapeno and put that in there as well. Okay, so I squeezed some lime juice in there, some salt and some pepper, and then I'm just gonna give that a stir and I'll set it aside until it's time for dinner. Uh, I also had that cilantro lime dressing and I made a couple salads with that. So I chopped up some romaine that I had in the fridge and I'm just gonna give that a wash in my salad spinner as I customarily do with some lemon juice and cold water. And here is what our plates look like. Well, at least Adam and, our, Adam and mine, I had the brown rice with the roasted poblano and cheese, pico, sour cream, and some grilled chicken on the side. Dude, this was so good. Would definitely recommend. Okay, so dinner was delicious. Tasted like chili rellenos. So here is the column that Adam boxed off today that I helped him with. And we also got all of the trend done last weekend. So it is coming together. Good Sunday morning, friends. I'm out here in my garage. <laughs> I don't even think actually, actually it's noon right now. So uh, I got up around 9.30 this morning, I got ready, and this morning all I've done is, well not all I've done, but I took Connor to get his haircut. So we did that. He needed a haircut really, really bad. Um, he's actually needed a haircut for like three weeks, but <laughs> we're staying home for a while, so. We did go get a haircut today and then I just got done helping Adam in the basement uh, finish installing part of the column we were working on yesterday. So I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day um, at recipe testing and doing some meal prep, probably some grocery shopping. But what I wanna work on now is finishing the turkey rice soup. I've been meaning to do that all weekend. Um, and so I put the stock in the refrigerator last night so all i basically need to do is like chop up all the vegetables get it into the pot um simmer everything and then typically i'll like give some away to family and maybe our neighbors and stuff and then i'll also freeze some of it it freezes um pretty well but it's really good with the homemade turkey stock okay so this is i took the shelf out of the fridge out here so this is after it's been after the stock has been sitting in the fridge all night and you can see there's some more solidified fat on there. I want to scrape as much off of that as I can before I make it. So if you guys want to see how that turkey soup came together, um, be sure and watch Vlogmas Day 1. I'll link that down below. But like I said, I wanted to get going on some meal prep. I was basically just kind of cleaning out my fridge, prepping my produce for the week. So I had some cucumber that I washed up and I'm cutting that into coins. I have this divided container. I believe I got it at Walmart. It's like a Sistema container, but it's really convenient for storing raw veggies. And I always find when I cut those up on the weekend that um, we're more apt to eat them during the week. I also chopped up a red bell pepper and some celery. Um, these are not only convenient for eating like as crudite with dip or dressing, but it's also convenient to have them on hand for like if you wanna throw together a quick omelet, not with a cucumber, obviously, you wouldn't use cucumber in an omelet probably, uh, or put them on your salad as well. Next up, I wanted to prep some marinara sauce for a recipe, and I'm going ahead and dicing an onion. I decided to make some homemade marinara, so I'm going to be using some onion, some garlic, sauteing that in some olive oil, and then adding a can of uh, crushed tomatoes. And I haven't made homemade marinara in a little while. It's probably, I don't know, been a few months or something like that, and I always forget how much fresher it tastes. So um, if you guys have been buying jarred marinara, 
like I have, um, consider making your own once in a while. I think that it turns out really good and you can adjust it according to your taste. If you want it spicy, you can add red pepper flakes. Uh, I usually just add like Italian seasoning, a tiny little bit of sugar, salt, and pepper. Okay, so the turkey rice soup is done. It turned out perfectly flavored. I didn't really have to adjust it at all, just a little bit of salt and pepper. So I have quite a bit here. I think what I'm gonna do now is go get, I need to get some groceries because I'm testing recipes today and I'm out of some things. Um, so I think I'm gonna jar some of this soup up and drop it off at Adam's parents' house and his aunt's house on my way to the store. All right, so it is currently 2.30 and I'm at Walmart. I'm gonna run in and grab some ingredients that I need and then when I get home, I'll share with you guys what I got. These are super cute. They are biscuit cutters. There's six in there with a storage container, a Pioneer Woman. If I needed some, I would buy these, but I don't. The store is actually not that busy today. I'm kind of uh, surprised, but you guys, I'm buying a mini trampoline. I'm super excited for this, for the kids, and maybe for me too. I'm in the soda section, and I'm not sure if this is new, but it's Sprite Winter Spiced Cranberry. If they had it in diet, I would try it, but they don't. All right, so I just got home from uh, Walmart and promptly spilled turkey soup all over my shirt. So I'm gonna go change that, and then I'll share with you guys what I got from Walmart. It's a pretty, pretty big haul. Okay, so actually before I share with you the grocery haul, I am making a couple of pizzas for the kids for dinner. So these pizza crusts are really good. They're from the Essential Baking Company. So um, I just put, I brushed them with olive oil, put a little bit of pizza sauce on there. This one's cheese, this one's pepperoni, and then I just like to bake them directly on the oven rack. They turn out the best that way. Okay, so that literally took 10 minutes. Easiest, fastest pizza ever. So. I got one cheese, one pepperoni. I don't know why I cut them into squares because I felt like it. So um, I'm gonna feed the kids, do my grocery haul. And I think Adam is gonna have creamed dried beef over toast. So I'll make that for him after I'm done filming. Okay, so I feel like I made a video on this before, but it's probably been a long time. This is creamed dried beef gravy, or as we like to call it, shit on a shingle. Uh, some people make it with ground beef too, but basically it's just a white sauce or like a bechamel. And then you cut up this dried beef, put it in there, lots of pepper, you serve it over toast. It is not fancy, it is like purely uh, comfort food. All right, here we go. Fancy schmancy. Okay, so let me share everything that I got from Walmart. I grabbed a bag of yellow onions for recipes. I also needed more lemons and more limes, so I went ahead and got a bag of each. These were on sale. I can't remember exactly how much they were, um, but they were on sale for a pretty good deal. I probably would have gone to Aldi to get a lot of this stuff, except I needed some other things that I couldn't get at Aldi, so I just decided to go to Walmart. Two bunches of cilantro. I'm going to be making some homemade salsa, so I needed some for that, and then another for a um, bean and corn salad. I grabbed some green leaf lettuce. I went ahead and got the uh, pre-washed kind. A lot of times I like to wash my own, but I know I was gonna be super busy this week, so I decided to go for the pre-washed. I got some um, fresh fruit. I got raspberries and blueberries. They actually looked pretty good this week, and they weren't astronomically priced. The strawberries were like $7 for a two pound package, so I didn't get any of those, but I did get these fresh. And then I also still have apples, oranges, and pears um, left over from last week. I also decided to get some peeled garlic. I hardly, I really don't ever buy this, honestly. Um, and the last time I did buy it, actually it went moldy pretty quickly, but I will be using it for a lot of recipe testing this week. So I went ahead and decided to um, invest in the peeled garlic just because it would save me a lot of time. And then I also grabbed some tomatoes in case we need those for salads or sandwiches. I got some um, cheddar cheese sticks. Um, just keep it in the fridge for snacks. And then 
I also grabbed some of these pre-cooked Jimmy Dean um, sausage patties. There's actually a keto recipe that I want to try for um, sausage biscuits. So I'll try to find that online and link it down below. But I will, once I make it, I will share it with you guys in a video. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I, it specifically calls for pre-cooked sausage patties and again convenience <laughs> i decided to get those i grabbed a five pound bag of potatoes i'm making potato soup uh, i have not purchased these in a long time but these are the sweet peppers the small ones and i have a recipe where it calls for um i think stuffing these with like cream cheese and bacon and putting them in the oven kind of like stuffed jalapeno poppers except with these so I thought we would try those and then with the ones that we don't use for that we'll just cut up and use in salads and for snacking I grabbed some bananas we we're all out of those I got three dozen eggs <laughs> there is one chapter of my cookbook that is just baking and so I wanted to make sure that I had enough I actually almost bought the six dozen flat of eggs but I don't really have anything to store them in um, so I just went ahead and bought the three dozen just because one of these fits better in my refrigerator and I could put the rest out in the garage I grabbed one uh, loaf of whole wheat bread this is the kind that um, Adam likes and then we also use this for toast and sandwiches I also got a gallon of milk which was right there but I used it for dinner and then I put it back in the fridge so gallon of milk um, I got some butt egg meat adam likes this on sandwiches um so i got one turkey one beef one corned beef and one ham i needed some pepperoni also so this is around five something when i do the walmart grocery pickup i usually get the deli sliced pepperoni but i didn't want to wait for that today i was already spending enough time there so i went ahead and just got this um pre sliced it's thick sliced pepperoni so I'll use this for some recipes and then we also use it for like homemade lunchables um, snacking pizzas that kind of stuff I grabbed some turkey deli meat um, this is just the oven roasted turkey I grabbed two uh, pounds of butter this is the unsalted butter again lots of baking going on so I <laughs> wanted to make sure I had enough for that I got two packages of crescent rolls. I or these are two packs. So I actually got four. Um, I have a recipe that I want to try for um, cream cheese Danish. I made it a long time ago, but I haven't I, I haven't made it for years. I want to say it's it's probably been like almost ten years since I've made it. Um, so anyway, I'll share that with you guys. But it's I needed crescent rolls for that, and then I needed them for another recipe for um, pepperoni rolls. Uh, they're running low on pure vanilla extract and I was totally out. I can't believe I let myself <laughs> run out of that. Uh, but again, I got this for a lot of the baking. I got some sour cream for recipes and then I did get a whole bunch of canned goods. Um, so I got quite a few cans. I think I got six cans or maybe four smaller cans of the petite diced tomatoes. And then I did also get some whole kernel corn. I got a couple cans of ravioli for the kids lunches. And then I needed more flour. I always like to get the unbleached flour. So I went ahead and just got the 10 pound um, flour bag um, for go the gold medal one. I think the Walmart one would have been cheaper, but it was more convenient to get it in this large pack. So that's what I picked up. Do you guys, did you guys have to do like the flour baby when you were in high school? I seem to remember doing that. Like we put an egg in the middle of a flour thing and then we wrapped it up in a blanket and carried it around all week to like make us not want to have children <laughs> oh i think i do remember doing that um i got some sugar again for baking recipes i got two big bags of shredded cheese one mozzarella and one cheddar for different some different recipes that i'm making um, i actually use some of this tonight for the pizza i don't believe i've ever purchase these large packs of shredded cheese from Walmart but I think they're around six dollars each which isn't a terrible price I think you can get them for cheaper at either Sam's or Costco but I don't have one of those in my town so that is that I got some shredded Parmesan cheese um, for an Alfredo sauce uh, that I'm going to be making um, some cream cheese I got the two pack of Philadelphia I personally prefer the Philadelphia cream cheese um, over the hi I, I personally prefer the Philadelphia cream cheese over the Walmart um, so I went ahead and grabbed the two pack of this hi, hi Connor's eating celery 
Do you want to see my new cut? Oh yeah, I like your cut, G. Mm -hmm. He had a he actually had a faux hawk, but then you got rid of it because it was, it was what bothering it was me. bothering him. I like your cut, G. <laughs> Apparently that's the TikTok thing. I don't know. Uh, okay, so I got some more cheese, 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 cheese. I know, right? <laughs> but <laughs> this seems like so much food. We're not going to eat all of this this week. I'm probably actually going to be giving it a lot of a lot of it away to friends and family, especially if I make a bunch of recipes that we can't eat everything or freeze it. Um, I got a one pound block of Wisconsin sharp cheddar cheese. This is an Ibotta rebate, this brand, this particular brand of cheese. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box. If you haven't gotten Ibotta yet, you can join my team and get $10 back when you scan your first receipt. Even if you have a receipt in your purse and you scan it, um, there is a thing now for like any item you get 10 cents back or whatever, but I got, I scanned my receipt um, when I first got home and I got like $8 back on this stuff. So not bad, um, you know, money's money. So I got also one um, package of the Marble Jack. That is for the sausage biscuit recipe. I needed frozen broccoli for several different recipes. So this is actually a pretty good deal at Walmart. I don't prefer frozen broccoli, but I do use it in some recipes. Um, this is a 12 ounce bag of broccoli florets for only a dollar. So check this out if you're looking for a budget friendly way to get some veggies. I think that's a great deal. I also grabbed a two pound bag of french fries. Um, we have been, well, Adam is mostly working from home. I've been working from home sometimes. The kids are home right now from school. And so I'm trying to find like lunches that I can throw together super quickly, especially on weeks where I don't have time to meal prep like this weekend. So I did get some fries and some fish sticks for a lunch. So grab those. Um, I also got the cherry berry blend for my smoothies. Um, normally what I'll do is I'll buy fresh fruit and then anything we have left over that we don't eat in time for it to go bad, I'll just throw it in the freezer. But I'm running low on that since fresh fruit is in short supply right now. Um, so this was, I want to say it's around six or seven dollars for a two pound bag. So this will last quite a while. I can get uh, quite a few smoothies out of that. I got some applesauce for the kids. Um, I also got some of the sugar-free diced pears. These are sweetened with Splenda. Um, I got this for a quick lunch for myself. This is Butter Chicken Chef Bombay. I've never tried this brand before, so hopefully that's good. Um, I can't remember whether I said lemonade or not, but I got some of that. I got one box of the breaded fish sticks. This is a great value um, brand. That's a pretty good deal. I can't remember the exact price of these, but you get 44 in there. This was also an Ibotta rebate, and I wanted to try these. It's actually a sous vide egg bite with um, cheese, and then it comes with three turkey sausage links. And I thought about you guys that are doing low carb or keto, because if you look on the back, it's actually only one gram of carbs, net carbs for this whole thing. It's two grams carbs, one gram fiber, um, 240 calories. So this would be a good um, quick breakfast option for people watching their carbs and I can't remember exactly how much it was I want to say it was like two something and then you got like a dollar 25 off with Ibotta so we'll try that um, I grabbed these for just to keep in the pantry um, I like to get these for the kids the Nutri-Grain bars um, I just think that a lot of times they have a little bit less sugar in them than like the <laughs> chocolate chip granola bars and they have more fiber in them so I went ahead and grabbed these and they like them so that is good. I got some Triscuits. I'm basically the only one that eats these and I eat them with my cottage cheese. Um, I got four cans of cream of chicken just to keep in the pantry. A lot of times it's a better deal to buy the four pack. And this is another thing I prefer to get brand name. I mean, I will get the Walmart brand um, if I have to, but I do prefer the brand name cream of chicken, Campbell's cream of chicken. Um, another large can of petite diced tomatoes. I got nine cans of pinto beans. These were like 50 cents each. And then another three cans of the whole kernel corn. I'm going to finish the frozen stuff so I can get it back <laughs> in the freezer. Um, I did get a package of ice cream sandwiches. Um, the, this is so much easier than like getting a half a gallon of ice cream and then having to scoop it out <laughs> for the kids. Uh, it's like, you know, pretty good portion control. So this has 10 ice cream sandwiches in it. And this was also on an Ibotta rebate, which was a pleasant surprise because I didn't realize that when I bought it in the store. But then when I scanned my receipt, it, it came up. So that was good. And then I got this for myself. I love this ice cream. It's Sebastian Robbins pralines and cream. 
Okay, I grabbed another bag of walnuts. Um, I needed more of these to replenish my pantry with, I used uh, the last of these when I made a salad recipe last week. It was like a pear balsamic salad um, with candied walnuts, so I needed more of those. I also grabbed some goldfish for the kids. Um, again, I like getting these because I, I don't know, you know, here's the thing is like, I, I feel like if you ask me, are goldfish healthier than chips? I would say yes. But are they really? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I just feel like these are convenient because especially while they're doing school at home, if they want to go and grab something out of the pantry, they can grab one of these. And I can't remember how much these are. I want to say they're around $6 at Walmart. Um, you get 12 packs. It would be cheaper to make my own. But again, I'm trying to save time this week. Okay, I grabbed some Bang Energy drinks for Adam. There was a couple new ones, I think. Well, I don't know if new to us, maybe. Um, or maybe we had this one before, the birthday cake bash. I know we've had these before, the black cherry vanilla, the cherry blade lemonade, sour heads. This is the one I hadn't seen before, the key lime pie. So I grabbed those for him for this week. Um, I actually got this for myself. I love Diet Snapple. And I wish I could have found the raspberry, Diet Raspberry Peach Tea. They had the regular one, but again, I don't, I mean, okay, I'm not like the healthiest eater out there, I'll give you that, but I don't like to drink <laughs> my calories. Um, so I did get the Diet Peach Tea Snapple. It's really good, so I will hoard that for myself. Um, I got some of the sparkling ice drinks. Adam usually puts these down in his office. He has a fridge um, in the basement that he can sort of access while he's working, so... I got a cherry limeade, coconut pineapple, black cherry, another cherry limeade, and then two of the strawberry lemonade. The reason I got the brand name of these is because there was an Ibotta rebate. You get a dollar back on six. Otherwise, I normally get the Walmart brand because it's just as good and it's cheaper, but I went ahead and got those this time. Um, I got some soda and some sparkling water. So one Diet Mountain Dew, a 12 pack of Cherry Coke Zero, which is one of my favorite sodas, a diet summing up, and then two of the zero calorie sweet and sparkling water, one peach and one cherry limeade. Um, this was a gift that I picked up for a friend. Um, I am going to put a sticker on this. So just a quick, I guess, aside, if you want a quick gift for somebody that's kind of inexpensive but personalized, there are a lot of Etsy shops that offer like cool stickers. Um, I'll link the one that I order a lot of them from down below, like for my laptop and for other things. But get like a Contigo or an Arctic mug or something like that for 15, you know, 10, 15 bucks. And then put a personalized sticker on it. I don't know. I just think it's a good, a good gift. And this one is kind of marbleized. I thought it was cool. So I grabbed that. Um, I was in the makeup section looking for some powder and I decided to pick up a replacement of this. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Treatment with Hyaluronic Acid. I love this stuff. I use it every night right before bed after I do my skincare. I love it so much that I'm afraid that they will stop making it and I will never be able to get it again because that's always what happens when you find something that you really like. Um, it's a little bit on the pricey side. It's $7, but it does last a while. But if you're looking for a lip treatment that is like fragrance free and doesn't have a bunch of crap in it, I would definitely recommend this. I think it's really a really great product. Um, I got some wipes not flushable, do not flush wipes. Well, you can do what you want, but we have a septic tank, so we do not flush anything. Um, I got, okay, so these I got for Adam to try. They're the Pure Protein Nacho Cheese Puffs. I don't know, I'll probably try one too, but they are um, pretty low carb, so I don't know. You guys can let me know if you've tried these before. Two, I guess it'd be what, three grams of net carbs for this whole bag. I'm sure they taste like protein, but I don't know. I got those for him to try. Um, I needed some bigger hair clips, and you can see I already took one out. <laughs> My hair is, is very thick, and I even got a haircut this past week, and I had her thin it, and it's still very thick. I'm not complaining. I would rather have thick hair than thin hair. Um, but I needed something a little bit more substantial to be able to twist my hair up and clip it, so I grabbed these. Um, I actually moved my essential oil um, diffuser up to my office and I've been using it in the mornings when I start to work and it's been really awesome. So I decided to pick up another one of these um, Better Homes and Gardens 
essential oils. This one is the lavender and the sweet orange. So I, I thought it smelled really good, so I grabbed that. Um, we have one of these Febreze plugs in our powder room down here, our half bath, whatever you want to call it. So I picked up a replacement. This is the Fresh Cut Pine. Um, I've been using these a lot more than I've been using the Bath and Body Works ones just because these are way more accessible to me. I don't have a Bath and Body Works within like 45 miles of me, so I have to order online and it takes forever to get here and it's just a pain. So um, I grabbed this. It smells good. It smells like Christmas. We always do um, foster children presents every year. We, you know, choose a number of kids to adopt for Christmas and do that. So this year, Adam chose three and I needed to pick up a few more gifts. We ordered some of them on Amazon or Adam or order most of them on Amazon actually. Uh, but there was one that wanted like sketching and drawing um, supplies. I can't, I can't talk. So I got these Prismacolor colored pencils and then we also got a Walmart gift card for each of them. So I grabbed those and then I needed some more powder. So I decided to try this Neutrogena skin clearing mineral powder in the classic ivory. This is the palest scent they have, which is what I need. <laughs> it looks like this has salicylic acid in it. I actually find that Neutrogena has really good quality makeup for drugstore makeup. I would recommend most of their products. I actually really like their, they have a foundation and it's more of like, it's not really like a heavy foundation. It's like a lighter foundation with an SPF. I can't remember exactly what the name is called right now. I think it's healthy skin something, um, but I really like that. So I got this for uh, makeup and then I also got some aluminum foil. I was totally out of that. So I definitely needed more. Um, I always get the great value because I find that it's comparable to the Reynolds wrap and it's much cheaper. Um, and then since I'm going to be doing quite a bit of baking just for convenience sake, I went ahead and got the pre-cut parchment sheets. I do have a roll of parchment paper in the drawer, but this is much more convenient to just pop up and use. Um, I feel like I'm going to need to go to Costco soon and get some dishwasher packs or I might be going to Sam's this month too. I haven't decided yet, but I, I feel like I'm about ready to run out, so I just went ahead and grabbed like the great value, just a small pack of these to hold me over. I got some mayo to keep in the pantry on hand, and then I saw a couple of different low carb slash keto um, like pancake and brownie mixes. This one is Birch Benders. They're kind of pricey. This one was almost two fifty. It's a chocolate chip pancake in a cup, three grams of net carbs, um, and then this one is. <laughs> This one is a walnut fudge brownie, um, keto friendly by Duncan Hines. Oh, I love you. So I just thought I just thought we would try those. I'm not. I don't know. I haven't I haven't tried any of these yet. So you guys, let me know if you've tried those. If you haven't tried these, they're really good. They are um, protein bars. They have 20 grams of protein each, but they're also um, low sugar. I don't know the exact net carbs in them, but if you're looking for something quick to like keep in your bag or your purse. Now, if, if it's hot, you can't have these because they will melt. But to me, they taste like really close to like a wafer bar. I don't know. I really like them. I like the white chocolate ones, but this is a new flavor, I think, the peanut butter fudge. So I decided to try that. Um, I was looking for the Shout like scrubber stain remover, which is what I normally use, but I couldn't find it. They had this OxyClean and I needed stain remover, so I decided to get that. I got some V8 Energy. Um, this is pretty good. It's a strawberry lemonade. Again, it's diet, and this actually really does taste diet, so if you don't like that diet taste, you're not gonna like this, but I like to have these like chilled in the morning. Um, sometimes when I take my vitamins, so I grabbed that, and then this was also an Ibotta rebate. It was 250 off and it's the snuggle um super care scent beads so i got that um we needed actually haven't purchased towels yet for our basement bathroom i did get a shower curtain that's like white and navy striped i believe um so i went ahead and grabbed some towels to keep down there i got navy and then kind of this taupe color i thought that would go whoop that's a box i thought that would go well with the colors of like the tile and everything that were in there so i'll wash those and stick those downstairs and then what i dropped was this uh, wax warmer walmart actually has a lot of neat wax warmers and i kind of just got back into them i haven't 
had a wax warmer for many years, um, but at Walmart they actually have a lot of cool scents that I've been trying, and this one I think was around $15. They have several different kinds, but I think next weekend when I decorate for Christmas, I'm gonna put this over on one of those shelves, um, and then it has, obviously you plug it in, and then it has kind of one of those, you know, rotating on buttons. There's a light bulb in it, so yeah, I thought that was very pretty for, um, not not a terrible price and it'll look pretty lit up especially the decorations over there so that is everything that i got from walmart long big haul i'm gonna get all this stuff put away you're gonna beat me all right do you go first or do i i okay go um, hello camera trying to beat the reigning connect four champion I'm the I'm the reigning Connect Four champion. You beat me, no, no. <laughs> oh no, I I don't, I don't want to go there. Can I take it out? I I'll, don't want to go. I'll there. let you. I didn't want to go there. Do you have a candy cap? Like golf? Okay. Up the pattern. Oh, you beat me! <laughs> I did not anticipate that. Good job. So we just basically spent the rest of the night hanging out in the kitchen, playing Connect Four. I cooked some more, tested some more recipes, and I have to tell you guys, um, Connor, we always called him like the uh, Connect Four uh, aficionado a few years back. He could like seriously beat anyone <laughs> that he played, but I think he's he's gotten a little bit rusty, although he did uh, beat me in this last round here. But anyway, thanks you guys so much for spending the weekend with me. I know basically all I did was cook, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for following along on Vlogmas, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!